Hey, this is James again. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, some tips and tricks regarding the Dimension tool and I'm using Archicad 23 today. Okay, so first I ne need to input some uh, dimensions. So I'm just going to make a few clicks. Uh, double click and then choose which quadrant I want to align it to. So I want a horizontal click. Okay. So now if we want to add some points, for example, these windows, uh, regardless of the tool I have active, so I'm just going to, for example, choose the arrow tool, I'm going to select it, and then if I'm holding control on Windows or command on Mac, and click to add points. So I can remove points just as easy by holding that uh, control key on Windows or command on Mac. Uh, on the points themselves to remove them. So pretty easy. Okay, so to add and remove. Okay, so if it's not selected, and I use the same control key, uh, command on Mac, uh, if I click on a segment, then it will remove that segment. So it's similar to the trim. I can use the same command, so I can actually, yep, trim. Uh, additional segments from this dimension line uh, but if I want to join these two together so let's say I have these two and let's just make this one it's going to move it so it's at a different uh, position so if I want to join these two together I select one use hold control click the other dimension and it will join the two and place this one at the same level So we can do something similar with the pet palette. So if I click on the dimension line to get the pet palette up, the first icon here we can add, so I can just drag to associate to a point. So I think the control click is a little bit quicker for this. I can also reorientate this dimension. So if I want this dimension to be orientated towards this wall, then we'll use the second one. And if I click on an edge, then it will make this dimension parallel to this. So let's say I only want this, uh, this part, but the rest of it I want parallel to here. So I'm just going to trim. Actually, I can trim, but I can split. So if I select this node and use the split, I can say which side I want selected, and let's say this part and then um, use the make parallel to and make that segment parallel. The other dimensions, this is for the witness line. So where do I want to set the witness line length? And I can also move one segment. So that will split and move just that one uh, part, but I'll undo this. And the last one will split uh, at the point that you clicked. So there's a few different ways. Either you can do it at the uh, point, so split and then move, or you can use the split, so this last option, to split this segment. Okay, so like what we did before, I'm going to join them together again. So holding the control key on Windows uh, Command on Mac so to join that piece again. And even though this is at a different angle, I can still control click on this to then bring this dimension into this string. So ho hopefully uh, you learned something also with this. So I find that the control click is maybe uh, simpler than using the uh, pet palette options. Uh, it's maybe not so obvious, but uh, once you get a hang of it, I think it's uh, much quicker. Cool, thanks.